This is Gary Kennebrew for Audio Plugin Deals, and we're taking a look at Sampletron 2 from IK Multimedia. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you know when the good deals show up. Let's take a look at the interface. Sampletron 2 comes with a large library of sounds. It's broken into three banks, and each bank can load a different sound. If you hit the lift lid button, you get a chance to see the breakdown. So you have an area where you can drop your own samples. You have all of the tape controls like erosion, noise, bias, wow, flutter, and tape shape. Then you have the list of banks where you can load any sound you like. The banks can be individually controlled or they can be controlled together as a group. If you click on each bank in this window, you can actually choose the sound you want to load to the bank. You could do the same for the B and the C section. So in the first bank, I've got flute, I've got trumpet in the second bank, and I've got woodwinds in the third bank. You can go into each bank and change the volume and settings for each bank. tuning, transpose, you've got a range of the high note and range of the low note. In the bottom right side, you'll see the link button. This links all the controls together. You have an amplitude envelope and you can control whether or not they're going to be controlled by velocity. And you also have a filter and you can control whether or not it's a key track based filter. You also have a cutoff and a drive section. The flute sound that I use for the demo was modified. I was actually able to create my own little chiffer or air sound to get the flute to get a little bit more, I guess, human vibe to it. This sound was made up of three parts. It had an alto flute section, it had a solo flute section, and it had this ch sound that I made with my voice. <laughs> that sound. Sampletron 2 mapped it across the keyboard so that each articulation would include that breathiness. and it also pitched it. Balancing the sound was pretty easy. I just basically used the volume. I did something similar for the low end. I wanted to be able to add a knocking sound because the attack was not aggressive enough for what I was trying to achieve. I took a sample of an 808 kick, I pitched it so that it would be in tune, just a short attack. Sounds like that. And what I used to make that was that. I wanted a little bit of noise and I wanted a bit of a knock. I was able to drag my sample into slot A. You'll see in the upper section here where it says drop sample, all I did was create the sound and then drag the sound into this slot here. Combining the kick and a preset that was already in Sampletron, I was able to achieve a knocking bass sound. And the important part about that was getting the knock to actually be in pitch so that it didn't conflict with the low end. Sampletron 2 has a really nice section for effects. It's got a channel strip, tape echo, a multi-mod, which is a chorus, phaser, flanger, um, and it has a built-in plate reverb. Um, what I like about this uh, VST altogether is it's already tape-based. So if you want that vintage sound, right out of the box, all the presets give you that vibe. And it's not too difficult to move around and tweak and make your own. Um, I'll leave it with this little demo that I created. It's about six or so, seven tracks of just different occurrences. All of the effects are happening inside of Sampletron 2. This is Gary Kennebrew for Audio Plugin Deals. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Hit that notification bell so you know when the good deals show up. Oh,